In Carbon Create version 7, you can no longer export your G-code. So what are you going to do? Hey guys, in the latest version of Carbide Create version 7, we are no longer able to export our G-code. If you're a Carbide Motion user, you can recall that in the past, after setting up our toolpaths, we saved our G-code and then uploaded that G-code into Carbide Motion to carve our designs. With the recent update to Carbide Create, we are now going to save our C2D file and upload that file into Carbide Motion to get our carve. If you're a Carbide Motion user, then you're using the Nomad CNC or a Shipoko CNC. Carbide Motion is only available for Carbide 3D CNCs. With that being said, if we're using Carbide Motion, we're really not going to be impacted, not entirely, but I'll come back to that in a little bit. But if you're not a Carbide Motion user, but you're just using Carbide Create to create your design, set up your toolpaths, and export the G-code, well, that feature is not available for you anymore. It is only available on the Carbide Create Pro version, and that's where I think you are going to be impacted the most. In this video, I want to share with you two things. First, if you're a Carbide Motion user, then I want to show you how you are able to upload your C2D file into Carbide Motion. If you're not a Carbide Motion user, you're still able to use the free version of Carbide Create to be able to create your design, set up your toolpath, and save a C2D file, and then export the G code out of that file. Now, I want to show you how. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and use this file as our example, these stars. So we're going to go ahead and save this toolpath. All we have to do is click on Save Toolpaths. We're going to save this toolpath as a new C2D file. Just go ahead and save your file wherever you'd like. Once you have your file saved, we're going to go ahead and come into Carbide Motion. Once you're in Carbide Motion and after you've initialized your machine, go ahead and load your new file. We're going to get this extra screen. We'll come back to this one in a moment and then go ahead and click Done and you can go ahead and start your job. So if you're not a Carbide Motion user, I don't know if this is going to work, but I thought that this next part was interesting. When you're in Carbide Motion and you upload your file, you get this extra window here. I'm going to call it the summary screen. And in this summary screen, you get this option to save G code to file. When you click this, you are able to then save your G code. Just remember the extension is .nc. So you can go ahead and save that. I've already tested this, so I'm just going to replace it and then click done. When I go to load new file, I have this at .nc file here and it brings up the exact same information. And we can go ahead and click done and we can just upload the G code rather than the C2D file. So I say all this because this may be an option for those of you that are not using Carbide Motion to still have Carbide Motion downloaded onto your a computer and be able to export the G code out of your file. That's just another way to do it. It may be a long roundabout way to do it. So just take that into consideration. The other way that you're able to export your G code from a C2D file is simply by using Carbide 3D's website. If you go to a, any web browser, DuckDuckGo, Google, and type, and type in Carbide 3D G code export, you're gonna find this link here. Extract G code from Carbide Create version seven. Once you click on that link, you're gonna be taken to Carbide 3D's website. On this website, you're gonna get this extract G code option. Go ahead and browse for your file, drop in your C2D file, and now you're able to extract the G code. So just go ahead and download that here. And here you can see that it is the .nc file or the G code. That is a way for you to be able to still extract the G code from your C2D file. That's going to be it for this video, guys. But if you're a brand new CNC user using Carbide Motion, using Carbide Create, make sure to take a look at the other videos in my channel. I think they could help you guys get started. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video.